Welcome to a tag flap card set tutorial. I'm Shari Filamahala here at the Graphic 45 office and I'm excited to show you uh, what exactly a tag flap card set is. So we have just been taking our large tags and using them in interactive ways on the front of our cards to create these. And of course, our cards this month have been created for us by Ginger Rop from of My Sister Scrapper. And each month she creates some gorgeous, uh, unique card designs for us that we bring you the tutorials here as a G45 card club. You can follow along with the card club by picking up the kit by hopping on over to g45papers.com and you can get all of these goodies uh, sent to you directly in the mail or you can find a G45 uh, retailer on our website as well that will uh, where you can pick up your kits or you can always just grab what you have at home and create along with us. So this month, our tag flap card sets, we are going to be creating three unique designs using those. So you can see this one, we've got a fun, cute little accordion design, and then it still flips open. So you've got lots of space for writing some sentiments in your cards. We also have this nice horizontal design that it flips open like so just really showcasing these nice brass grommets and still some beautiful designs on the inside really utilizing these uh, home sweet home eight by eight uh, exclusive card club papers so you can only pick up this size of the home sweet home paper in the kit so it is a fun uh, bonus about being a subscriber or picking it up is that an exclusive product as well as our fun card bases that are nice heavy duty card stock and envelopes. And then this one I love where it just wraps around keeping it shut and then you can open your tag up and then open up your card. Just so many cute ways to use up these tags. Of course, I will be showing you in the video tutorial um, how to create these three cards that I just showed you. But you can uh, take these same um, templates and recreate uh, three more cards. So you'll have enough supplies to do six, plus you'll have some even extra goodies left over after that as well. So grab your supplies and let's start creating these tag flap cards. Step one is to cut out two pieces of handmade to be four inches by five and a quarter. Adhere one to the inside of your card base. By the way, our card bases are made from a craft card stock that's a um, hundred pound and nice and heavy duty. They also measure to be when opened up eight and a half by five and a half. So when that's closed, it is four and a quarter by five and a half. I believe that's the A2 size. Next, we're going to adhere our handmade to the front of our card. Step two, we are going to trim out this homegrown recipe card from My Sunshine, and then we'll adhere it into the inside of our card about a half an inch from the top. Step three, from your apple pie paper, we're gonna trim out this happiness is homemade cut apart. Step four, from Country Life, we've trimmed out this blue border strip and along with the bit of red. Step four, we've taken one of our large craft tags. We have our grommet side up and we are going to score at two and five eighths. And then we'll score again at five and a quarter. We are gonna fold this so it is an accordion. Step six, from the remaining B side of Handmade, we're gonna cut out two pieces that are gonna be two and three eighths by three and five eighths. And then adhere those onto the center panel on both sides of your tag. Seven, the B side of Granny's Quilt, we're gonna cut out two pieces that are two and three eighths by three and five eighths. And then if you wanna take this up, take it up a notch, you can always round your corners, but we're gonna be leaving um, the inside corners sharp at a 45 degree angle, and then we'll be rounding are um, on one panel on the left and one panel on the right. If you don't have a corner rounder, you can always take your tag and trace out 
your corner and then trim and then you'll have some uh, matching corners to your tags as well and then adhere those onto the remaining front panels of your tag step eight we're going to trim out this he who plants kindness cut apart from my sunshine and then we'll trim out grandma's apple pie from apple pie and then we'll adhere grandma's apple pie on the back side of the back grommet and on the front side we'll adhere our he who plants kindness on the center panel from country life we're going to be cutting out some stamps we're going to have two carrot stamps a tomato stamp a lettuce stamp and a pea stamp of course if you want to get in and get all those cute little edges you can always take some fine scallop scissors to do so but I'm just gonna keep mine nice and simple as is and then I'm gonna be decorating my uh, far left panel with my carrots on an angle and then I'll just have my elements coming down And of course, if you want to add a photo or something special inside of this panel, you can always add your stamps on after you've embellished or add your own personal touches and then decorate around it. And then from our sticker sheet, we're going to be taking out this image of a grandma and her grandson. And we are just going to trim off that little topper. So we have a nice little rectangle and that's going to go on the front panel towards the top and then we'll adhere our peas and carrots we can now take our fun little element that we've created and adhere it onto the front of our card base so this panel that we haven't decorated at all we will add adhesive to This will go about an inch from the top. In the center. Like so. And now we'll just decorate it with some of our sticker embellishments. So we've got this cute little blue striped scallop sticker that's going to go towards the bottom. And I'm just going to make this trim to fit with the red gingham paper. And then you can always put that excess back on the sticker sheet so we can reuse that later. And then we've got some more little cute little circle stickers that we'll be adding from our second paper or our second page of stickers. So we'll do a green circle and a blue. And those are just going to go up in this top right corner. Our belly band closure. So earlier we cut out these elements so what we're going to be doing is this happiness is hand is homemade is going to be on the front and center of our tag and then we want this to wrap around so we're going to make sure that this is being adhered underneath our um, main image but i want to give it some space about maybe a quarter of an inch or half an inch to make sure that it has something to grab onto and then now we can start folding this around making sure we're keeping everything nice and straight and then we don't want to get it too tight because we do want to make sure that's going to slide on and off with ease so we've got our belly band in place we know how we want it to go so i'm going to add a little bit of adhesive down and so i can place my image right in the center like where i would like it to be
And you do want to make sure you're not adhering it onto your card. So I'll just slide it off there and there you go. We've got our first card all done, created. Make sure I've got it right set up. So we've got our first card done and created. It's got a lot of fun interactive elements and I think it's really going to make anyone who receives this absolutely smile with joy. So to show you another example using that same pattern or that same template we've created, you can create with um, your other supplies. This cute belly band that folds off that has the home sweet home border and then the large tag unfolds like this showcasing it's got that circle sticker this more of that scallop border home is where the heart is and then on this side some more stickers that gorgeous flower paper and then opens up with this fun cut apart in there leaving room for a sentiment So card number two, we're taking farmer's market and we're going to cut out two pieces that are five and a quarter by four inches here, one on the inside and one on the outside. And then we're going to cut out this farm fresh eggs recipe card from my sunshine and adhere it to the center of the inside of the card. Happiness is homemade sticker and adhere it just overlapping over the recipe card on towards the top on the left. Number two, we've trimmed off a half an inch from the bottom of a large tag and then we've scored it at four inches creating this cute little fold up flap and now we'll just adhere this to the front center of our card and now we've created a cute little flip up step three or cutting a piece of farmer's market to be three and five eighths by three and three quarters and then adhere it inside of our flip up from Grammy's quilt, or Granny's quilt rather, we're gonna cut this to be three and five eighths by three and one eighth. And then we've rounded the bottom two corners, leaving the other two nice and sharp. And this will adhere onto the front of our tag flip up. My sunshine, we cut out this dear friend cut apart element, and this will adhere just right in the center of our flip up on the farmer's market. From Country Life, we've cut out these three seed packets and they measure to be about three and five eighths across. And so we have a little bit of red in there. And then these are going to adhere just towards the top of our little tag cut apart. So when this flips up, there'll be decoration up here as well as a great place to add a little note or a photo here. Now we're going to just decorate this with some stickers. So we're taking this red thin border and that's just going to go about a fourth of an inch from the bottom of the blue. And depending on how you want this, if you want your sentiments to be uh, nice and coherent. We're gonna go ahead and trim between homemade and with. So I'm taking off this east, west, home is best, homemade part. So now I just have with love at the beginning. And then I can trim off where it starts to say east. So I'll have a full sentiment reading with love. I love the country life. Happiness is homegrown. I'm also noticing now that we're working on this, that I can see some of those seed packet papers. So I'm just going to trim off my excess. And then I'm going to take this hen and it's going to be about a half an inch from the bottom, a little weighted a little bit to the left and then farm fresh we'll just overlap just like so 
Step five, we're gonna be creating our belly band. So we are taking this country life strip of these cute chickens or hens that say, he who rules the roost, but I rule the rooster. So we're gonna be using that as our belly band, but also this naturally homegrown big sticker here. So we don't want the sticker to stick to our card, not letting us pull the belly band off and on. So we are going to need to use um, a bit of some scrap paper to make this work. So um, I have I've adhered it down onto this piece of Granny's quilt scrap paper, and it doesn't quite cover it fully. So hopefully when I trim off this bit, I can get some more coverage. Now we're just going to be fussy cutting around these edges. And then taking a bit more of the scraps that we just cut off to cover up any more sticker adhesive parts. And then we'll just finish fussy cutting around our sticker. So of course you can always use a scrap bit that's gonna fit your sticker better, but that's what I had uh, lying around. And look, we made it work. We quilted it all together and it's gonna work beautifully for our belly band. So now uh, we're gonna be doing something similar to our first card. So this um, sticker piece will go in the center. And then we're just gonna wrap this other bit around. So. Wrap it around, make sure you're leaving enough room that this will be able to slide off and on. So that was a little tight. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it to make it a tiny bit bigger. So that should do the trick. I've wiggled it and now I want to make sure I don't get any adhesive on my card at this point, but I do want to have my belly band on my card so I can see where my placement is of my sticker. So once I've got a good eyeball position, we can adhere that down. You can just slide that on and we are finished with card number two. And for using that same inspiration here, uh, the same pattern template, we're gonna be showing you that you can use this cute little seed packet border and the You Are My Sunshine sticker, creating the belly band. And then we've got a very similar design in here. You can see some cut up stamps, the dear friend, farmer's market on the outside as well as some nice blue on the inside with the naturally homegrown area where you can write your sentiments and some stickers. Cut up two pieces of home sweet home to be four inches by five and a quarter. Now, you do want to trim from the bottom so we're going to keep these uh, stamps on this side intact for a different step. Right here to the front and on the inside. My sunshine, we're gonna trim out this apple pie recipe card with the green border. And this is just going to be adhered just about a half inch from the top. From that signature page where we told you to make sure to keep these stamps intact, we're gonna cut out all four of those and adhere them just to the bottom, leaving an equal border of the blue plaid 
all the way around. Now with a large tag with the grommet facing up, we're gonna score this at one and seven eighths, or at one inch and seven eighths, and then again at six and a quarter. Now we are going to adhere this onto the back center of our card base. So our little flaps will go around our card. So I'm just gonna center this like so, and then it should wrap around looking like this. Now we've cut a piece of garden fresh to be four inches by five and a quarter, and we're going to adhere this to the back side of our card to cover up our tag. Step six, we're gonna cut out two pieces of the B side of Granny's quilt to be one and five eighths of an inch by three and five eighths of an inch. And then we'll have two more pieces that are gonna be one and a half of an inch by three and five eighths of an inch. And then we'll round the two outside corners of all four pieces. And then we'll adhere those onto our tag flaps. So we've got the smaller piece here where the gr grommet is and the larger on the right hand side. And it's the same um, on both sides. Country Life, we've cut out four of these cute little stamps. And then these are just going to adhere on the inside of our flaps, like so. Step nine, we're gonna trim out this Farm Fresh label from Apple Pie. We've adhered down our Farm Fresh. Um, we've weighted it higher to the top than the bottom. And then we've added some sticker borders and corners to the front. And then we've added some cute little label stickers to the front of our tag flaps. And to create this belly band, we're gonna cut out this You're My Sunshine from Country Life. And then from Apple Pie, we've got this uh, Where Thou Art That Is Home cut apart. And we'll just do that the same way we've been creating all of our belly bands so far. So just kind of holding it all together. sure it's loose enough that we can slide this on and off. So I'm just sliding it just a little bit over the edge, making sure that there's wiggle room for this to go on and off with ease. There we are. We've got our third and final belly band. I'm gonna let that dry before I put that on. I'll show you Ginger's gorgeous sample, of course, with all those gorgeous inked edges. You can see it really pops and makes one beautiful card. And then when this slides on, it really has that nice ooh and ah feature. So cute. And then to show you uh, taking that same example and creating another card uh, using that blue paper and then this fun apple pie with some cheese is like a kiss without a squeeze cut apart and then using that same paper to create a belly band. We've got our granny's quilt on our tag the home sweet home. Ah, oh, just so cute. You gotta love these cards and all the unique ways that we've used our large tags. We hope that you've enjoyed creating this card set with us today. And we hope that you share your projects um, when you're done using that graphic 45 hashtag. 
and if you haven't already um, subscribe to our YouTube channel so um, and then hit that notification bell so you can get an alert every time we post a new video so you can always uh, create along with us every month and we thank you so much for following along and wish you all a wonderful week and as always happy paper crafting